Hi, this is Dr. Tori McJunkin. I'm going to show you how to do a caudal lysis of adhesions procedure. This procedure is typically done for lumbar radiculitis or pain that radiates down the leg. It's also done commonly after people have had back surgery or fusion type surgery. I'm going to show you some of the equipment that we use for this procedure. One of the things is an EpiMed needle. It has a bent tip on it, a curved tip. This is the RX Cude needle. The other thing we use that's special for this procedure is a catheter. It has a small wire that slides in and out of the catheter. You can steer this catheter from one side to the other. The other thing unique about the catheter is it has a springy tip so it will bounce off structures. We use contrast medication. We use a local anesthetic with a steroid type medication. And then we use an enzyme which is called whitease which also breaks up scar tissue. I'm going to go ahead and numb up the skin now. This is for the sacral cornu that we numb the skin. I'm going to feel a little sting and burn here, numbing medicine deep down. I'm going to hurt for 10 seconds. I'm going to numb all the way down here. Sorry, numbing up real good for you there. Make sure that. Okay. And then we're going to advance the uh, epi, the epi med needle. Sacral hiatus here. A little pressure here. Picture there. Sorry. Picture there. And we're going to steer that needle. Picture there. Sure that needle right into the uh, sacral hiatus there, and that's the sacral part of the epidural space. Through that needle, we're going to place our catheter. We'll go to an AP view now. That catheter slides right through the needle, and we'll steer that catheter up. So you can see the needle coming into the sacral area. We'll go up just a little bit north there. Picture there. And go left here. And we're going to keep directing this knee catheter right up into that area towards the right side where his worst pain is. You can see there's been previous surgery in this patient with a laminectomy right here. And then it looks like a spacing trigger right here. Go left here. You're going to see some contrast coming onto the screen. Go left here. You can see the nerve outline there. Now I'm going to put in some of the uh, steroid type medication with a local anesthetic. Go left here. And you can see that. You're going to feel some pressure here, sir. You can see that medicine spread all along those nerves there. Now I'm going to put in some of the enzyme type medication. Go left here. Good. You can see that medicine spread as well. bit of medicine here and spread all up along those nerve roots up there. The catheter and the needle are then uh, directed out and you can see both of them there.